personalized treatment in early HER2 breast cancers? Can one? Ah? Hello, I'm Dr. Tidy, breast oncologist. If you have not watched my two other videos, make sure you watch them first, yeah? It will help you to better understand this video. We take a few things into consideration when we decide what is the best treatment for you. First is the stage of the HER2 breast cancer. For stage 1 HER2 breast cancer, usually we do surgery first, then only the chemotherapy and HER2 treatments. Most of the time, we only give light chemotherapy. This is usually weekly chemotherapy given 12 times with one HER2 treatment for a total of one year. With this approach, over 90% of people will be cured from the breast cancer. Stage 2 and 3 HER2 breast cancers, usually bigger or involving the lymph nodes, higher risk of relapse, we usually give chemotherapy and two HER2 treatments first before the surgery. Secondly, is how the cancer responds to the chemo and HER2 treatments. Now, this is especially important for stage 2 and stage 3 HER2 breast cancers. Most patients will respond well with the cancer shrinking quickly and some may no longer feel anything. If there are no more cancer cells in the breast or the lymph nodes at surgery, this is fantastic. This is called a complete response. The prognosis is going to be very good and most people will be cured in the long term. If there are still cancer cells in the breast or the lymph nodes, alamak, this is no good. The chances of the cancer coming back again is higher. The more cancer there is left, the worse the prognosis. So here, we need to change the HER2 treatment to another HER2 medication to further lower the risk of the cancer coming back. If we didn't give the chemo and HER2 treatments before the surgery, we wouldn't know how people responded to the treatment and whether we need to change the treatment or not. So it is really important we give the chemo and HER2 treatments first before the surgery. Remember, yeah? Thirdly, is the type of HER2 breast cancer. If this is a hormone-positive, HER2-positive breast cancer, we also need to add on anti-hormone treatments. And if the risk is really high, we can also consider adding on tablet HER2 treatments after finishing the first year of HER2 treatment. This is to give people the best chance possible of beating the cancer. Lastly is who is having the treatment. Older people or people with many medical problems are at higher risk of side effects from the treatments. So we need to choose safer chemotherapy recipes, like ones that are safe for the heart and less likely to affect their immune systems. There are also chemo recipes that are gentler on the hair. With these patients, we can possibly save their hair with scalp cooling treatments. Then there are personal preferences on how the HER2 treatments are given. Most people have the HER2 treatments through a drip, but some can just be conveniently given through an injection under the skin. So what should the treatment plan be? So the treatment plan should be personalised to give people the best chance of beating the cancer with as little side effects as possible. Hope you've learned a few things from this video. Make sure you check out my other videos on HER2 breast cancers. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel.